Sign, sign, everywhere a sign. Blocking out the scenery, breaking my mind. Do this, don't do that. Can't you read the sign? Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to a Wild Wednesday episode. I know it's been a long time since I've done any kind of video. Um, at the end of this video, I will uh, give you guys a little medical update on myself, let you know what's going on with me. Um, just because a couple of you have inquired, you've emailed or messaged me and said, hey, what's going on, is everything okay? Um, so if anybody's interested in that, I will have that at the end after my closing logo. Um, I will warn you ahead of time, um, it's going to be a little graphic because I want you guys, for you guys who are interested, I want to let you know exactly what's going on. Um, if you're not into like gross medical bodily functions, stop it once you get to that ending logo. Um, but yeah, other than that, we'll, we'll get back to that very shortly. Anyway, so today's episode, signs, rules, rules, rules. Um, we're surrounded by rules every single day. Like don't cross when the little little red hand, don't cross through and the little red hand is up there. Um, don't butt in line. There's so many rules that we have to follow, but the important ones are our own personal rules. And what I've done is I've just compiled five of my own, my, my top five personal rules of life. And I just wanted to share them with you today because um, I can't drink beer. So that's what we're going to do. So these are the order of importance they are to me. They may be different for you, but uh, hey, you get to learn a little bit more about Shane today. Rule number one, always try and stay warm. Yes, for me, this is one of the most important rules ever. Yes, I live in Canada. Yes, it's winter friggin' five or six months out of the, out of the year. Um, I'm not a good Canadian boy. Let's just put it there. I hate being cold. Um, being cold makes me miserable and cranky, and I, I don't like being cold because it puts me in a bad mood. I don't like to be in a bad mood, guys. You guys know that. I'm kind of fun. I like to have a good time. Um, so yeah, this time of year, um, I'm in, uh, what are we at? The first week of December right now when I'm recording this. Um, we're around the freezing mark and it's way too cold for me already. And it just makes me miserable and I can't wait until like late May or June when it starts to warm up again because I'm just going to be a miserable bastard for the next couple months. Anyway, rule number two. And this rule has not been on my radar ever in my entire life with the exception of the past six months. Rule number two, try not to shit your pants. <laughs> um, yeah, this is number two on my list. And again, this is something I never, ever had to deal with before due to my medical stuff. Again, if you're interested, it's at the end. Um, yeah, it's definitely something I do not want to do. And that's why it is number two on my list. Number three, actually, sorry. Number two, B, always carry wet wipes with you which goes along with number two for just such instances. But also wet wipes are just fantastic just to have around with you all the time. If you're out and you're having a piece of candy or you're, uh, you know, you go to a food truck or something like that, those wet wipes really help clean up your hands or any other messes that you happen to have. Rule number three, always make sure to have a well-stocked beer fridge in case friends stop by. Now, most of you guys, I don't have to tell you this. This is a given. My, my fridge is always well stocked. I always have at least half a dozen beers, if not more. Um, like when I get to half a dozen, I start to get really worried. Uh, especially this time of year. We're getting around Christmas. We're getting around the holidays. Friends are going to stop by. And you want to make sure that you have beer in your fridge just, just to offer. Um, you know, be a good host. Just make sure that your friends are comfortable. I, when people come over to my house, I try to make them feel comfortable. You know, my home is your home have some beer, grab whatever the hell you want out of the fridge. I don't care if it's a beer I haven't reviewed, drink it. It's fine. I don't care. Number four, which is also kind of related to this one, be a good sharer. Again, open up your house, open up your beer fridge, share, share your food, um, just whatever. There's been several times at work where um, I've, been, I've been having my lunch and someone has come to sit down with me and I'm starving. Like I just, I want to eat so bad and I only have, you know, so much food. And I always offer to share what I have because you never know if that person's eaten. You don't know what people are going through in life. Um, maybe they were busy and they haven't eaten. And I'll always ask like usually two or three times, like, you sure? Like half, half. I'm not, and I always say, I'm not that hungry, even though I'm starving. 
you know, I, I just like to share and just make sure people are okay and taken care of. Rule number five and the final, I, well, kind of the final one. Um, try and make people laugh whenever possible. Um, I'm kind of a goofy guy. Anybody who's met me in person, I do some goofy things sometimes um, just to make other people laugh and make their day brighter. Um, it's quite common at work um, where I'll be walking down the hall like down in the downstairs part and there'll be like some music playing and I'll go up to like a random strange, a girl. <laughs> it's, a, it's almost never a guy, always a girl. And uh, I'll literally just jump in front of her and be like, hey, the song's going on. I'll be like, hey, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. And, and I, I'm a goofy dancer, right? It's just, it's just the way I am. Now, most of the time, they'll just laugh and be like, hey, go away. But every once in a while, you'll get one, you know, another uh, somebody who's kind of goofy too. And they're like, yeah, this is a great song. And you're sitting there dancing in the hallway and everybody's looking at you. But I don't care. I'm making people laugh. I'm entertaining them. That is just something that I enjoy doing. So that's my top five rules of life, guys. I also have three quick other rules, and these are meant more for um, my younger viewers, especially the guys um, who are dating, or for the older guys who just, you know, haven't figured out dating yet. So um, I've had these rules for a very, very long time uh, in regards to, I, I haven't had to use them. I've been married for 20 years now, but uh, here are my three rules of dating. Rule number one, whenever possible, ladies first. You guys know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you should really stop dating. Rule number two. It's easier to beg forgiveness than ask permission. True story. And rule number three, and by far the most important rule of dating. The 10 seconds it takes to put on a condom beats the hell out of the 10 years you have to pretend to like soccer. Words to live by. Anyway guys, kind of a weird little wild Wednesday. I hope you liked it. If you didn't, that's okay. Um, I will try and get a, a video of some kind out in the next couple of weeks, maybe a little Christmas episode. Um, I don't know if it'll be a beer-related one. We'll have to see how my medical stuff is going. Um, but I will try and get something out there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you don't want to hear about my medical history and all this gross stuff, stop the video right now. Like right now. Don't watch to the end. It's okay. I don't care. If you are curious and a little bit sick in the head and want to hear about this stuff, continue watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Okay, you sick bastards. You stuck around this long, so I'm going to let you know what is going on with me. Um, for you guys who don't know, I'm sure mo most of you do, people I've talked to, um, I have a chronic inflammatory bowel disease uh, called ulcerative colitis. And basically this is a, it's an incurable disease and I will have this for the rest of my life. And basically what it is, is my insides kind of, they basically, they attack themselves. So, and, and again, if you don't like gross stuff, cause I'm going to get into it here in just a couple minutes. Um, like my, my stomach, my intestines, my colon, my, my butthole, everything gets inflamed and it's very, very uncomfortable. And, um, I basically have no control, well, or very, very, very little control over my bowel movements. Um, the best way I can describe how I feel on a daily basis um, is, uh, and this has been getting, uh, after I got diagnosed, I did get put on, uh, I saw a specialist, um, he put me on some medication, and I did start to feel better. And I probably got up to about 80% of my normal, and I was doing okay. Um, the past month or so, maybe five weeks, maybe up to six weeks. Um, I've just been every day is just downhill. It's like the medication has stopped working and I just feel like garbage. So basically how I feel every day is I'm hyper aware of how my stomach feels and my insides. Um, the best way I can describe it is take a two liter bottle of um, dirty dishwater. Like I'm talking dirty, dirty dishwater. Guzzle that thing down. That's what my stomach feels like all day long. It's just, it's not enough to make me like get sick, but it's a, just a gross, gross, sick feeling in my stomach all day long. It never stops. It never quits. Um, it's, it, it's crampy. It's uncomfortable. Um, so that's, that's basically how my stomach feels all the time. Um, my intestines, I didn't even know you could feel your intestines, but I can feel my, my intestines inside too. 
Um, now we're going to get into some really, really super gross stuff. Um, my, my butthole is always sore. Always, always, always. Um, I also have a slight internal hemorrhoid, which really doesn't help with all this stuff I'm doing. Um, so basically, um, I don't have very much control over going to the bathroom. And I go to the bathroom a lot. Like, a lot. Um, like, I'm probably on the toilet every hour without fail. And it's not, it's not what you would commonly think of when you would go to the washroom. Um, a lot of the times it's just, it's a, sometimes it's just a little teeny bit and it's like garbage. It's not, you can't even discern what it is. It's garbage is what it looks like. Um, it's not pleasant. Um, there's blood present. Um, and it just, it's just, that's just the way it's going to be. Um, I don't, and again, I don't have any control sometimes. I have, uh, I have zero warning sometimes. I'll be, I'll be sitting on my couch watching some TV and then all of a sudden it's like, dude, you got to go right now. And my bathroom is, you know, 20 feet from the couch. And sometimes I don't make it because it's just, that's how bad this disease is. I'm having a hard time controlling it. Um, I've been back to a doctor at a clinic and they gave me some uh, other medication to try. It doesn't do a goddamn thing. Uh, the medication I have been on for the past couple months isn't working. And um, my major problem right now is I don't have a family doctor. We used to have one. He retired. Nobody took over his practice. And we were like, okay, well, we got to get a doctor. And then, you know, you don't think of it because, you you know, you're feeling good. Um, and to try and get a doctor in this area is impossible. There is every doctor has a wait list of like three to six months. Um so it's just basically going to the clinic and saying, you know, can you do this? And most of the time at the clinic, they don't want to deal with it because they're not specialized in what I have. Um, I did call today and I do have an appointment to go see a doctor in January in a completely different city because I cannot get any, any doctor around here. So hopefully uh, middle of January, I go see them, have a consultation, hopefully have an actual appointment with them end of January, beginning of February and get this figured out because I have missed so much work in the past month. I have gone home early. I've gone into work. I've been there for like an hour or two and I've had to say to my boss, like, I'm, I'm sorry. And it's, it's very, very frustrating for me because, um, I'm very good at what I do at my job. I've been doing it a very, very long time, almost 30 years. And I hate having to leave work early and inconveniencing other people because of something that's going on with me. And it, it really makes me feel bad and my bosses know this and they've been, they've been very, uh, they've been very good, especially my, my one boss, Craig, he's been, uh, he, he's been very understanding and just a fucking superstar. But, um, I've just been, uh, I've been very frustrated and overwhelmed and I'm so sick of just feeling like garbage every single day. And I just want this to go away. I just want, <laughs> I want to get a hold of a doctor that knows what's going on and can help me. Um, obviously, I can't drink beer right now. Um, alcohol is no good for me. The carbonation isn't absolutely no good for me. Um, so I still have a fridge full of beer. Like I, I did a video a while ago on that. I have a fridge full of beer. I'm, I'm literally going to start giving a couple of these away to some friends because it may be quite a while before I get around to being able to actually, you know, do a, do a beer review video because I really... Uh, you guys know I really enjoy doing them. Um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on, guys. Um, again, thank you, everybody who has, uh, you know, sent me a message and said, you know, how's everything going? Uh, for the couple guys that do know what's going on, I really do appreciate you checking in. Um, and I just, I just want to say I'm, I'm not doing this video. Um, I'm not looking for sympathy from anybody. I don't, I don't want anybody to say, oh, you know, poor Shane, look at the poor. I, I don't care about that. I just, I'm just, I'm just relaying information for you guys. Um, there's nothing that anybody can do, um, for what I have, but I, I do appreciate the support and just the, everybody checking in on me. It makes me feel really good because I have not been feeling very good. Um, sorry. I've been feeling very good about myself lately and I don't know what to do. So, uh, sorry guys, this wasn't supposed to be all fucking emotional and shit. Um, I'm just very frustrated. So, uh. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I will try and do something. Maybe I'll get my bird puppet out and try and do uh, 
I don't know, some really shitty ventriloquism stuff, because I, I can't do ventriloquist stuff. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.